Hello, and welcome to another episode of Suspension Simplified by MTB Dev. Today, we're going to take a look at different types of dampers. As we talked about in the energy video, a damper's job is to convert energy or motion into heat using friction, specifically viscous friction. To control the motion of the spring, a damper renders some of that energy unusable to the system. To do this, dampers generally drag some sort of friction-inducing device through a body of fluid. These days, the fluid used is almost always a liquid. However, there are examples of air damp systems, which we won't be covering here. The friction-inducing system works by creating drag in the damping fluid as the pressure changes throughout the system. And it's generally some sort of port, shim stack, valve, or a combination of these. The valving for compression and rebound are almost always separate. During use, the damper fluid heats up as the energy changes form. There are two basic damper types, sealed and open bath. Of these, there are numerous variations, but we'll cover the basics here. Open bath dampers have a portion of air in the top of the body where the oil is and work by forcing a piston or friction-inducing device through the fluid. These are simpler, cheaper, and easier to maintain than sealed dampers, but the big downside is that performance changes greatly as the air mixes with the oil. Because of this, the valving for the compression is designed around this foamed up state of operation and the rebound valving is generally housed very low in the body so that the oil is least affected by the air in that area. These aren't commonly used on shocks as inverting them can introduce this air to the bottom of the system where the more sensitive valving is. And so because of that, you see them on a few uh, lower end forks uh, and then in motorcycles. Sealed dampers prevent air from mixing with the oil by using a damper body that's completely filled with the damping fluid. These are more sophisticated, expensive, and more difficult to maintain than the open bath dampers, but they offer more consistent and articulate performance. This is where you typically see separate high and low speed damping for the compression and even the rebound. Now, some open bath dampers may offer high speed compression, but it's generally a high speed compression blow off valve for use primarily when the fork is locked out and you have a large strike. Over the next few episodes, we'll take a deeper dive into damper operation. So stick around and subscribe for more.